but one botanical with great taste and remarkable medicinal value remains the original Camellia sinensis, or tea. It's been valued as a healthy potion for millennia, and new research indicates that it might turn out to be a pharmacological treasure trove of health benefits and cures, which may explain why tea is finally giving its old rival, coffee, a run for the money. CG, which makes up about 70% of the dry weight of tea, neutralizes BCL-XL, otherwise known as the anti-death protein, a gene that doesn't allow cancer cells to die. The anti-death genes become hyperactive, and this allows the cancer cell to expand, to increase its numbers, because they, they've forgotten how to die. The same mechanism explains why it's often very difficult to kill cancer cells, even with the best weapons we have, such as chemotherapy and radiation. Researchers used nuclear magnetic resonance, an advanced version of medicine's MRI, to get a picture of how a single molecule of EGCG interacts with a single molecule of the anti-death protein family. Dr. Maurizio Palecchia was in charge of the research. This is the protein that when overexpressed in cancer cells prevent them from dying and allow them to proliferate. In red here we have this small molecule. This is epigallocatechin gallate, which even being very small compared with the protein, is able to insert itself on this deep crevice on the surface of the molecule and block its activity. Conclusive research on the cancer-killing benefits of green tea remains to be done.